Alrighty. Well, this is the uh, the moment we've all been waiting for, where I have six mics in my face. <laughs> So here's the plan. We're going to uh, do a test of this recorder. We have six different types of microphones and uh, we're going to record little sections of audio where like if you saw my Sennheiser video, um, we'll go low, regular and high with the volume and then we're also within those we're going to do uh different levels on the uh the the gain knobs because we're going into a 32-bit float file which before i get into it here's the section where we explain what a 32-bit float file is now a 32-bit float file is basically the equivalent of shooting in RAW for a camera. Like if you have RAW stills or if you have RAW uh, video, it's one of those things that can be molded into just about anything. For example, you could record and if you got somebody that is very dynamic and they're very low with their voice and all of a sudden they start yelling, you won't have any clipping. There's two A to D limiting limiter converters in this recorder, which allows it to process low and high uh, inputs uh, pretty well. It, it it works really well, and it's really cool when you bring it into your uh, your DAW, your digital audio workspace. Um, and you normalize it to a more suitable level from in your 32-bit float and it's really cool normalizing works most of the time but you have to manipulate it a little bit but it's not a big deal you can adjust your level however you'd like and it's it's really cool i gotta admit it's it's one of the coolest things i've ever seen in technology so now we got that out of the way we're gonna go through each microphone and uh have some fun okay we have the Sennheiser MKH416 shotgun microphone, which if you haven't seen that video, uh, go check it out. It's the uh, first video I put up on this channel and I go over how you can use it and uh, different tests and things like that. And also you're hearing a test of it right now. Uh, this is going in to the first input of the Zoom F6, duh. And we have the gain knob about quarter of the way up. So a little bit above the clicking off section. And I'm talking at a normal level. Now, if I was to talk a little bit softer, this is what it's going to sound like. And if I talk a little bit louder, it's going to sound like that. Now moving it up to about 12 o'clock. And it shows you the uh, decibels uh, it, when you're when you're moving it. It's pretty cool on the fader. These are not necessarily gain knobs. They're really more like faders. It actually says fader while you're adjusting it. it it's because you're shooting in a not shooting but <laughs> recording in a 32-bit float uh, file. It uh, it doesn't act like a gain anymore. It acts more like a a fader on a on a console so we're at 12 o'clock on the knob and if i'm talking a little bit lower it's gonna come up like this and we're gonna 32 bit float the crap out of this and if i talk a little bit louder it's gonna sound like that last section we're gonna do is this is blown out this is high this is all the way cranked the letter number six up and if I talk a little bit lower, we're going to get that. And if we talk a little bit higher, we're going to get that. Okay, next up on the docket is this really cool microphone I have here. This is the Rode Pod Mic. Now, this is a small, dynamic microphone used for broadcast and things like that. I'm seeing it pop up all over the place on Twitch, 
on uh, radio shows and things like that, and people are loving it mainly because it's a hundred bucks and it's really cool and it's a sexy looking one. That's gonna be the next video. Keep an eye out for that one. Road Pod Mike. That's 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 it. That's the this this thing's sexy. I like the way this thing is, but we're not gonna get into too crazy, too crazy right now. Right now we're about a quarter of the way up. Like I said, same exact thing we did before. And if I talk a little bit lower, it's gonna sound like that. And if we talk a little bit higher, it's going to sound like that. Moving up to 12 o'clock on the gain slash fader knob. Uh, this is what it's going to sound like on a regular level. And if we give you a little Bob Ross action and talk a little bit softer, talking about microphones and sexy looking recorders, that's what it sound like. And if we get a little bit louder and get a little more aggressive talking about skulls and coronavirus, that's it. Now I got this mother cranked all the way up and it was gonna sound like this, talking at a normal level, a little bit softer. Bobby Ross is looking down on me with approval. And if we talk a little bit louder, Satan is looking right up to me. Next up on our list is the AT4040, which is Audio-Technica's uh, pretty like middle grade uh, condenser microphone. There are more that are more expensive and less expensive. It's it's kind of like the two levels up from the AT2020, which is like a workhorse. It's one of those microphones you see all over the place. If you got a condenser microphone, uh, chances are it's an AT2020. Um, and Audio-Technica has been around for a while now, and I love their stuff. I really do. Um, I use this microphone for, uh, what's it called? Uh twitch streaming and it, it works out great i use the pod mic as well but so we're about quarter way up on the gain slash fen fader fender not fender fader and uh this sounds a little bit lower and uh get a little sexiness going on in that way and we get a little bit louder and talking in a raspy voice and try not to die we're at 12 o'clock now on that fader and I tweaked it just nice enough and I uh, gave it a little, little tweak, little tweak in there on the, they are not gonna, no, not gonna get too, yes, I will get loud. <laughs> now, if we crank that thing up, this is a condenser microphone, so we're going to be very sensitive and uh, if we get a little bit lower, it's a little bit more nice for it. We, we stroke it. Well, I'm not going to stroke it right now. Maybe stroke there and if i get louder it's gonna be blown the number six out now i'm talking into a sm 48 uh dynamic microphone stage mic it's a classic classic stage mic from sure and i've had this thing this was the first microphone i was ever given I was given this uh, for my birthday when I was younger. I was probably lower teens, and uh, when I started like playing guitar and playing in bands and music and things like that, my mom got me this with a really, really bad uh, tape recorder, showing my age there. Um, uh, but if I talk a little bit lower, back in the day when things were emo, and not so uh, crazy with things going on in the world right now. And if we get a little bit louder, we talk about the world right now. Moving on to a 12 o'clock section here at the top of the hour. Uh, this is what it's going to sound like at there. And we talk a little bit lower. It's going to sound like that. And we get a little bit higher. We talk like that and sound like that. Whatever it is. Now it's cranked up all the way, and I just realized I could do this all in one shot, but I'm not. And if we talk a little bit louder, it's going to sound like that. That's cranked up all the way, by the way. Okay, MXL991. This is a tube microphone. Now, this was one that I bought. This was the first one I bought, like my own money. And it had came with uh, the, it was a package deal. And it came with an MXL 990 and 991. 
I haven't used these things in a while, and uh, it's because I've upgraded microphones over the past 12 years, whatever, more than 12. Yeah, just, I'm old. I get it. But uh, this microphone is, like I said, my crotch mic. It's right in my groin. I'm bringing it a little bit closer so we could have a... Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's like a first-person view. Oh, look at that first-person view right there. Oh, it's so nice, and it's this is low. This is really like quarter of the way up. And if I talk a little bit louder, it's still that level, but on a condenser mic, so it's going to be crazy. Going up to 12 o'clock. Here we're talking, and like I said, 32-bit float. You know that dull thing that I keep talking about. So uh, this is where um, this thing is very sensitive. It's a very sensitive microphone. So if I talk a little bit lower, it's that. And louder, it's like that. They were going to talk a little bit lower. And it's just blown out of proportion. And I'm not even going to go any further with that because this thing is so sensitive. All right. We're talking into the uh, Sennheiser. Uh, right now we're at about a quarter of the way. Sennheiser lab system on my, my lapel here. And um, this is what it sounds like if we talk a little bit lower. And now we talk a little bit higher. 12 o'clock action going on. It's well past 12 midnight right now recording this. And if we talk a little bit lower, it's going to sound like that, baby. And talk a little bit louder, we're going to get sexy with it. One last thing. You crank that baby right all the way up there. It's going to be like that. Talk a little bit lower. Get a little berry going on. Berry white going low. And then go crazy like Tutti Frutti. Like uh, Little Richard. Yeah, this, uh, this whole setup was weird. It's a very interesting setup I have here. I wasn't expecting to do it like this, but we did. We did it all too well. So yeah, uh, hopefully you enjoyed those uh, those tests. Um, that was that was pretty cool. I've never recorded this many microphones on one subject before, so it was kind of cool. Um, let's, uh, let's make this a little bit less crowded. I'm getting kind of claustrophobic with all that. All right, we're going to close this thing out with the Rode Pod mic because it's next on the docket for a review and, uh, talk about, um, dynamic microphones and, uh, how this one differs from uh, a condenser microphone. And you could see it, you could heard the difference while we were doing the test with this uh, awesome F6 uh, field recorder. So Zoom F6 field recorder, complete census on it. I give it a, uh, I think I'm going to give it like a, I give it a nine out of 10. This thing is like a beast. It, no, it is a beast. It's like a, it's like a tiny little package with so much in it. So if you like that video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos coming out in the future, hit the subscribe button and that little bell to know when it's coming out in the future. The next video is going to be on this beauty, the Rode pod mic dynamic microphone and sexy as hell. And if you have any questions whatsoever, you could leave them in the comments down below. You could also check me out on Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash ghetto happy. I'll leave that in the description down below. I record, I not record. I stream about two, maybe three times a week. I'm trying to get a schedule now that we're under quarantine everywhere. Um, uh, I have a little bit more time to do this. Um, so you can check me out uh, probably every, I'm sending it now, every Tuesday, Thursday, and on the weekend. So keep an eye out. Follow me on my social, and you'll know exactly when I go live. So until next time, take care, everybody. Be safe, and I'll see you next time. Don't worry. I brought my key. <laughs> You're kind of making a lot of noise. Hey, I believe in you, John. You show that wall to <laughs> Hey, Bruce, I have an idea. Why don't you jimmy it open? I couldn't help it. It was too funny.